platform for Santa. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> it's just back on uh, Bruno again, Eric. If you sense this week that he's been fired up to prove people wrong, is that something that you, you can take forward to kind of help his game going forward? No, I think to, today he showed big personality huh? by giving this performance uh, and leading the team. And yeah, that sort of was brilliant. He seemed to enjoy after getting the goal, he hands to his ears and stuff. I know he's done in the past too, but he seemed to be extra fired up tonight as though he had a point to prove. Yeah, but I think uh, he has so much skills and now he's scoring with his head from a corner. And I think he scores with right, with left, with his head. He, he's creating uh, final passes. And I think, uh, of course, he's very happy when he scores a goal uh, because that's that's important. And uh, then you can celebrate. Uh, and he did together in togetherness with his fans. Yeah. Uh, Eric, you've said for a while now that you thought when Fake Horse got one goal, a lot more goals would come. I mean, the crowd reacted brilliantly when he scored as well. So you'll be happy for him. But do you expect that to give Vekos that confidence and he can go on now and add to your goal score? Well, I think as you see, yeah, um, he is often in the right position. <laughs> then uh, he fails, but he keeps going. And so he showed great personality and character. And... And so not only in this game, but I think also in this game he could already have early on his goal. But um, he keeps focus, he keeps working, he keeps putting himself in the right positions. And finally he got his goal and his reward. Uh, Rob. Uh, Eric, just on Anthony Marshall, is there any chance that he might be able to, to play on Sunday? And, and do you have to be extra cautious with him now because he's been brought back so many times and then... Um, I yeah, but I think we all the time we had a good plan, and yeah, it worked. Till now, not always good, but um, yeah, he's on his way back. Right? He's back in training, um, but we will be cautious. Yeah. Jamie, um, David De Gea's kicking tonight was wasn't great. Is that something which you want him to improve upon? And can he actually improve upon it? Because it has been a weakness of his game for his United career. It's kicking. Passing out from the back. Oh, yeah. From today, I can't ignore. But I think we have seen many games. He did. He did really well. And I don't know why or what the reason today was. And it was a lot of wind. Uh, it's a different, different ball. Um, probably had some problems with that. But uh, I know he can deal with it, and he will do Sunday better. So you have now sort of general concern about his kicking. Uh, we we work on that, but David is working on that. And but I I think we have seen in the season uh, that he is improving, and uh, and he will keep improving. I'm I'm sure. Uh, Laurie. There's just something about Eric. He's started all 15 games since uh, we signed him. Alone. Who? Uh, about. About yeah. Uh, did you expect to have him play as much as that, and he doesn't even come out of the team in rotation and sort of starts every game? Yeah, because he's capable, he's physical capable to play a lot of games. He's a very fit, fit, uh, fit player, and he recovers very good. And uh, did I expect? Uh, I expect that he would play a lot, but uh, obviously uh, we have um, an, um, an injury uh, with with Anthony Marshall. So that's obvious that he had. Uh, that's the the main reason uh, he's playing every game from start. To almost finish by uh, so Barcelona, I think I took him off, but many other games uh, he played, and I think he's doing well. If a striker or as a number ten in the midfield, uh, it's also uh, bringing good performance. What, what did you see in him supporting that role as number ten? <coughs> what do I say? What but, did you see in him? Oh, him but uh, him seeing him, uh, he, uh, I think he has um, uh, intelligence uh, from positions. He's very good anticipator. Um, I tell him uh, to, of course, uh, to linking up there. What he is also doing as as a high striker, but in that position, uh, linking up and getting in front of the goal, and uh, when crosses coming in, and for the rest, also there, the defending part, uh, he's very good in it. Uh, Paul, can I ask you a question about Christian Eriksen? We saw him at Wembley celebrating with the team. How's he doing in his recovery, and when do you think he'll be? <laughs> Do you think he's got a chance of playing again this season? I think he will play, yeah, definitely. And, but I can't 
till now an expectation, but I think his progress uh, in the rehab is okay. It's going uh, according plan, and uh, so we will definitely we will see him, but not before the international break. And do you keep try to keep him involved with the, the team talks, etc., just to keep him you know as part of the group? And Oh, yes, he is, yeah, but of course, but his main focus is in this moment uh, to get back as, as soon as possible because we need all the players. Uh, Simon. Eric, Southampton have had a difficult season. Um, what, what do you make of them? And mentality has been key tonight, making sure we bounce back. How important is it to keep that mentality? Ah, definitely. We have seen, I think, two weeks ago, Southampton uh, beat uh, Chelsea away so uh, he, we have to play an outstanding performance on Sunday to, to beat Southampton and at the bottom it's very close so uh, they will be front foot they will be aggressive they will uh, um, everything do to collect points here so uh, we have to be 100% and give the best performance to beat them Mr. Ken can I ask you said before you weren't happy with performances against Leicester you weren't happy with performances against Newcastle you're playing so many games and you keep talking about the process. How do you balance this long-term process with the fact that you have to play a game basically every three games? Yeah, but I think games are good uh, in the process. And for every game, um, we are in a rhythm and we, we plan the game. But uh, we have a game plan, we give them feedback. And in the feedback, there's often uh, development points uh, in the way of play. And so games are a very good tool to develop the, the way of play. Do you view these almost games like exams or a test for everything you yeah. like? Every game is an exam. Uh, every time again, for as a team and as an individual. Um, yeah. Back on Bruno, um, you said yesterday in the press conference that he still has a lot to learn or he can learn from Sunday and he will learn because he's intelligent. What in particular do you think Bruno has to learn? to make him even better, to take his game to another level? Um, I think you said thing now quite strong. Huh? I didn't say, I think I was very ple I'm very pleased with his captaincy because uh, he is giving the team energy. Uh, he is uh, not only giving the, the physical output, uh, the best of the whole team, but also he is running in the right direction and he is pointing players. And in that direction, he's coaching players. He's so leading the team in tactical perspective, and uh, um, he has his um, his emotion is his weapon. Yeah, but sometimes it's too strong. And yes, of course, I, I help him, I support him, uh, and I give him feedback. And sometimes he has to show more uh, uh, that to control emotions, and that will help him and uh, to. Uh, to stay in his uh, in the ratio in the game instead of the emotion, and eh? so he has to find the balance and eh, to be in the ratio, when to use the ratio as a tool and when to use the emotion as a tool, and so oh, that's the next step. So it is, uh, I think that's a nice development point for him, and when he do it, he will be even a better player. Okay, that concludes the first section of the Southampton press conference. That is embargoed for Friday at one thirty p.m.